I remember sitting there thinking, boy, it's Chicago, it's Michael. I'm not sure he's winning. I mean, Dominique was putting on a show. Well, of course, everything changed when Jordan arrived. The stands became filled every night, and the sidelines and the baselines at the game were filled with photographers, where before it was just me and two or three other people. It became more than covering a sports team. They were like rock stars. Got us. <laughs> what? Where are you going tonight? In the film days, which was all of Michael's career, you couldn't see the shot until the film was developed, obviously. So, you know, there was nights you could hardly sleep because you wondered if you missed that dunk, was it in focus? When Michael goes up in the air, you have to manually focus the lens in a split second. This is probably my most famous shot. It was 1988 All-Star Game Slam Dunk Contest at Chicago Stadium. The defending champion Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins, and this is what the crowd's been waiting for. He got a 50. I remember sitting there thinking, boy, it's Chicago, it's Michael. I'm not sure he's winning. I mean, Dominique was putting on a show. Michael Jordan needs a 48 to tie, a 49 to win. You know, I watch him in practice, and he has this one move where he, like, launches himself from the free throw line, flies all the way to the basket, and dunks. You know, and sometimes he made it in practice, sometimes he didn't. So I moved over to the sidelines. I had to catch him in the middle, put the ball in his hands, with his eyes open, in focus, properly exposed, not crooked. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. And I took the picture, and he won the contest. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. The look in Michael's eyes, he was going to make it, period. You know? A year or two later, I was in Bangkok on vacation, and I was on this little side street. They had a tiny little sporting goods store, and in the window, they had my picture. And I was like dying to tell somebody I took the picture, but nobody spoke English. That's the, um, the Bulls team playing. When we won the first title, Michael grabbed that trophy and never let go of it. Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship. It's the most proud day I've ever had. He carried it out of the stadium, into the hotel, out of the hotel. When we landed at O'Hare, you know, there was a press conference and a stage set up. You know, Michael walked down the steps of the team playing with the trophy, brought it home to Chicago for the first time. It was an amazing moment. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA championship for the second straight season. 1992, yeah. That was meaningful to me because we won it in Chicago. The way it worked back then was the NBA would do the trophy presentation in the locker room. If you wanted to be in the locker room, you had to go in before the game finished. I remember looking up at TV and they're all dancing around on the floor and I'm, you know, I think, oh God, should I stay up there? What should I do? I'm, but now I don't get in here, I gotta get the trophy, you know, what do you do? So then the team runs in the locker room and just for a few seconds, and all of a sudden Michael goes, we're going back out. And so all of a sudden, everybody's running out of the locker room. Michael jumps up on the scorer's table and holds the ball, and the players keep passing the trophy around. It's like the shot that I missed because I had to be in the locker room, but it was given back to me. So that's why that's one of my favorite pictures. All right, so we won it three times. Michael retired. He comes back, 96, we get Dennis. All of a sudden, we, we have the best team of all time. We win it at the United Center. The Chicago Bulls have won the 95-96 NBA championship. Make it four in six years. By now, they started doing the trophy presentation out on the court. You know, Michael's up there, and all of a sudden I see him jump off the stage and start running to the locker room. No matter what happens, 
you always stay with Michael the whole night, period. He has like six security guys and everybody ran with him. And he went in the training room and then he, he, he like flopped down on the, on the carpet and holding the ball and he, he started crying. I was a few feet behind him and his security tried to stop me. And I, you know, I just kept yelling back and pushed my way in. Security was yelling at us, move back, move back, no pictures. And we were yelling, it's history. <laughs> we're taking the pictures no matter what. You know, he laid there for a while. It seemed like a long time, but it probably wasn't. It was just a whole emotion. It was Father's Day. And his father had only died a couple years ago. The emotion just overcame him. I can understand why. And, and he came back and uh, the celebration started at the United Center. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead! Oh my God, that was beautiful. What a finish. 98, now we gotta remember, there's like a half million people in front of the stage no matter what happens, my heart, my soul, and my love will still be in the city of Chicago. There was about 400 photographers. I ran in front of them to get the shot. I knew I had to have it. I can feel the spikes in my back, people screaming to get out of their way. As I was taking the picture, it's like, you know, I can't believe six titles. Like, will we ever see this again in any sport? This was at the 1998 team photo. I took that with an eight by 10 film camera. So the film was like this big. It's a big thing, you put the cloth over your head. Rumor was those three wouldn't be back. And it was like the last of such a famous team, maybe the last team picture. So I had this elaborate setup. As far as I know, this is the only time the three of them posed in a Bulls uniform together. And we knew that Dennis and Scotty would do it. You know, you never knew if Michael would or not. Even with the team picture, I'd like to take 10, 12 pictures, make sure somebody doesn't blink and better smiles, whatever. You know, Michael wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't allow that. You know, he'd always tell me, Bill, if you were a professional, you'd only need one shot. <laughs> and I would say, yeah, but you might blink. And he goes, I won't. And he never did. Hey Bulls fans, thanks for watching. For more videos, just check them out right here.